I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. <laughs> oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Before going to today's broadcast, can we make demand for our daily bread? Join me right now. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread is coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, listen. Things are going to be tough. But remember, it's your season. I'm sharing these things to prepare you well. Giving up is not an option. Jesus did not save you to give up. I was sharing with you yesterday when, when I had to stop quickly. Because we went way past our time. <laughs> and because sometimes um, we had to time these things. I said, there are Christians, believers who love Jesus. Who would have accepted that? There are others who would have been hoping for Jesus to do something. And they'll push them and they'll stay there, wake up in the morning. and say, well, thank God they didn't hurt us. Thank God they didn't. Uh... But not me. Why not me? See, the contemplations of my heart, they are not the same. I can't say we all contemplate the same things. I can't say our expectation is the same. To some, your expectation might be, oh, I want to drive nice cars, live in the biggest of houses. Those are good things. Make no mistakes about it. But some of us, our thoughts are different. Those are, those are minor things to us. Those are things we leave in the hands of the Lord. If you want to, you give us, that's your business. But there are things that we demand from him. That's one. If he doesn't give us, he's a failure. Life is what he surely promised. He promised life. Where is the life? He says you will not perish. You don't tell me that that eh, it, it is okay, you know, someone died, prolonged sickness and, and, and he died. And you say, well, the good thing is he, he was in the Lord. And ah, I don't believe that. I will not accept that. Those are things I'm expecting Jesus. You understand what I'm talking about? Those are things I look at and like, <laughs> Jesus, you said, you said, if any man believes in me, so what is this? How, be, how will I believe in you and suffer like this? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, you can, Father, you said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The violent takes it by force. That's when you know what it means to be violent. You don't accept certain things. I believe in Jesus. Do you know? Do you know what that means? I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. See, we know who we have believed. We know. We, we know what we are persuaded by. We know. And, and it's our job to keep it and keep it and keep it. Nothing dies in our hands. Don't you understand? And we don't keep it. We don't say we used to believe that many years ago. Hey, no, but now. No, 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 no. 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 Our understanding may change, but the things we believe cannot change. Jesus is a life giver. He said, I am come. I am a kutuba. The reason I came is so that you will have life. And that life, you will have it in abundance. Brothers and sisters, that's what I believe. Anything apart from that, Anything that is against that statement that Jesus made, I don't believe it. Say so you're a Christian, they arrest you. 
And they said, denounce Jesus or you die. You see, <laughs> you know, I was sharing with you last week, I think last week, yeah. Shadak, Mishak, and Abednego. They knew what they were believing for. They knew what they knew. They say, if it is so, our God who we serve will deliver us from that fire and he will deliver us from your hands. Simple case goes. So they say, denounce Jesus or you die. Oh, sorry. If it is so, we don't die. We can't die. Now, when you make those statements, hear me, hear me, hear me. Angels are activated around. I told you, Stephen gave up. The moment he says, receive my spirit, stand down. Every angel stood down. If Stephen that day had said, we don't die, we are not casualties in the hands of wicked men. Why did Jesus die for me? Why did wicked men put Jesus through all? He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. I will now suffer the same thing Jesus suffered. That is an error. I will now suffer in the hands of wicked men. That is an error. If Stephen had said, Father, cause this man to be blind. Elisha did it and he got away with it. He said, blind their eyes so that they will not see. God answered him instantly. Check every prayer they have prayed in such times. God gave them answers. Why is your own different? What, what? Now, now, it's not that. It's, well, that's me. Send me, Jesus. Send me, Jesus. Uh -uh. Oh, Jesus, perishing, we will not perish. Perishing is not an option. We do not perish. Uh -uh. We do not perish. No, 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 no. We do not perish. I'm not perishing. Uh -uh. I'm not going to perish. No way. That's your thoughts. And when that's your thought, you begin to communicate your heart to Jesus. I said, Jesus, uh, 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 uh. Not in the hands of this man. No, not in the hands of this man. Hey. He will show up. Angels are dead. That place is loaded with angels. And listen, Hyena, you've not seen angels go to war on your behalf. You've not seen him set confusion. You've not seen him you don't know that that the hey, Akuba, Rata, Vena, Broko, Zephe, Nen, yeah. Oh, they are kidnapping people. You know, they are kidnapping and then they are taking them. And then they are hey, Tom If you don't know the truth, you will not be set free. You will not find that freedom. If you have believed a lie, Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm suffering in your name. Please keep me safe. Huh? Huh? Keep me safe where? When we pray, we expect answers. Rekebadabaruko <laughs> I call for angelic assistance right now. I call for it. Now, now, not only when you're in trouble, brothers, it's the same thing when you are in need. It's the same thing when you are, you want food. It's the same thing. You want money. It's the same thing. Why should I be broke? You just, you've not had money. Day one, day two, day three, one week, one month. Dry, everything dry, dry, dry. So dry that you can't even eat. You may be playing, but the moment you notice that you can't feed yourself and you're still playing, you're a joker. 
see you, you you may need money to do one or two things and you're not seeing it and like mm, 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 mm. but it gets that point where you notice you cannot handle your life you cannot feed your family you get to that point where your children begin to cry to you and say daddy uh -huh. and you're still quiet <laughs> You need to lock yourself up. You might say, Lord, what's going on? This is not what I believed. <laughs> Listen, I said most times it's not even the Lord. It's you. It's you. It's you. You have not stood up yet. You're still sleeping. Oh, I'm trusting God though. You know, there's a job I applied for. I'm trusting God. If that job comes, everything is going to be settled in my life. Okay, while that job is waiting, where is it? Don't you know you're supposed to be receiving supplies every day? What did Jesus mean when he says, give us this day our daily bread? Daily bread. Don't you get? You go around begging. You know, you know, you know what I mean? I'm, we are ministers, so we don't do... Um, jobs we we focus on the ministry that's why you know it's good you support us huh huh we don't do that we don't do that we don't apologize for the gospel we don't apologize for believing in jesus and preaching we don't apologize for leaving everything to focus on this we don't apologize for it I say, if you don't tell people, how would they know to give you money? Who told you we depend on people? Eh, hey, hey, don't say this so, because people can get offended now. I say, ah, 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 ah. We have never begged anybody. We know who we communicate to. He commands. He gives the command. He gives the command. And brothers and sisters, he can command any. If men refuse, he will command the birds. Don't you get we are not in the mercy of any human being. No, we are not. I tell you the truth. We are not. I am awesome. Hey, let me come here. Eat a cat to sabra vita. Set a pira katai. We have believed in Jesus. Do you know what that means? We believe in Jesus. We didn't believe in a Bible. We believe in Jesus. In Jesus. Even if there was no Bible, our faith in Jesus would still have been because we have seen. John said that which we I come in That I come in. He says that which we have heard, which we have seen, which our hands have handled. We, we didn't just hear something. So let us believe. Oh, let us, if that is your life, ah, you need a real one. Oh. Please, you need the real one. We believe this thing because we have tested it. We have handled it. Take the Bible away from me. My faith will still be firm and strong. I will write the Bible for you. So don't think our whole life is locked here. Say, a time will come when it will be scarce to have the Bible. I carry it now. Carry. They will ban Bible. Carry. It's here. It's inside. As I tell you, if you don't hear the voice of God, you're in trouble. You're in deep trouble. Because at that hour, it's only the voice of God that will save. It's not scriptures you will quote. That's what you do. Hey, that prepares the for me in the presence of my enemies. Ah, ha, ha. If it's coming from here, it won't work. It's from here. You're looking around like <laughs> that's, that's what we laugh in the face of adversity. We laugh. Why? These people don't know what they are doing. <laughs> they don't know what they are doing. We can play and play, but when it gets to that point, uh, we draw the line. Oh yeah, angels, handle this situation. 
Those things push. They push us. They push us. They push us. Our conviction, they push us. It's not about preaching. I'm not preaching so that you believe. I'm telling you what I believe. If you believe it, you have the same result. If you don't believe it, listen to me. The times ahead are times where you will need to stand firm. If the thing is not there, is not there, you will perish. And Jesus does not want you to perish. He did not plan for you to perish. If you perish, you perish because of your lack of faith. You perish because of your own belief. I'm sharing this with you so that you will stand firm. Let's finish this up. Verse 2 of John, Matthew chapter 24. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. The keepers of the word will be less. The keepers of the word will be less. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Did you see that? If you, no, he didn't say, I will cause you to endure to the end. He said, if you endure, if you stand firm till the end, if you stand firm, you're the one that will endure. You're the one that will, what will cause you to endure? The things that you carry in your heart. The things that you carry in your, he says, endure affliction as a good soldier. See, your believing in Jesus doesn't stop you or doesn't immune you from affliction. Don't get me wrong, but when the affliction comes, wh why are you enduring? Endure till you die? No! He says, endure till the end, meaning keep your focus on the end. I'll get to that end. So I endure now. And, and why you endure? If you need help, you ask for help immediately. Until you get to the end. Brothers and sisters, don't give up along the way. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't look at evil happening and give up. No, don't give up. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. Look at the end in view. That's why Jesus, he kept confessing. He says, I will die, but I will rise on the third day. He was looking at the end. He knew he was going to pass through the hands of wicked men. He knew. And he knew he didn't have control over that. He knew. But his father had spoken to him. Say, son, see, I put your life in your hands. You have the power to lay it down and you have the power to take it up again. Yeah. He said, this one thing I received from my father. Okay. So when Jesus saw that every angel had been withdrawn, he knew because the father had told him his will and his plan. He says, you will die. I will raise you up. So at that point, he had, even in the dead silence, he had to believe. He was the one that gave up the ghost. The other thieves were still alive. They were crucified alongside him. They were still alive. Jesus gave up the ghost. He knew. He knew he had to give up the ghost before the set, next set of angels resumed duty. He knew. He knew. So he didn't die out of pain. He He looked at the time. Uh -uh. This is the only window that has been given. If I don't do the will of the Lord now, it will be difficult. So he gave up the ghost just about 3 p.m. The soldiers came to check if they were dead. If they were not dead, they killed them. So they went to the first guy, they broke his leg. Now that breaking of leg was a way to cause speedy death. Because your hand is hung, everything is... is pressure goes down okay so they quickly it is a sharp breaking of leg the moment they do it it's said it's sharp in your whole nerve everything collapses 
They got to Jesus. Uh, so quick. He's there though. They checked him. He's gone. So they didn't have to break his legs. Okay? But that, he had to do that before they crossed that three o'clock. That's the only way he could die. He laid down his life. That's where he laid down his life. Yes. All the time he mentioned it, he spoke victory in view. I will rise again. I will rise again. Brothers and sisters, we have been given the same authority. Don't speak defeat. Speak victory. Even in the face of defeat, speak victory. Let your eyes be at the end. What do you see at the end? Victory. And my time is up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for you today. Let the Lord strengthen your heart for his truths. Let the truths rest and energize your hearts. I pray that you will not follow ignorant men. And, and, and let unbelief settle in your heart. But you will stand firm in the faith of the gospel of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Have the best weekend ever. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.